Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to change a shortcut icon in Windows 10. Some shortcuts such as Firefox and Google Chrome will actually already have a few that you can choose from. So to change the icon, all you need to do is go onto the shortcut. So I'll just use Firefox, for example, and right click. You now need to go on to properties and you now need to make sure you've got the shortcut tab selected at the top here. You now need to go on to change icon. And as you can see, there are a couple that you can choose from. So if you wanted to change it to this one here, just go ahead and select it, press OK and press apply. And as you can see, it's now changed it to our chosen icon. So if we were to go back onto change icon and then go on to a different one here and press OK, press apply. And again, as you can see, it's changed. But like I said, that is only for certain shortcuts. It won't have that option on all of them. You can also change your shortcut icons to system icons. So to do this, you need to right click on a shortcut, go onto properties, Go onto shortcut at the top and go on to change icon. So you now need to click on browse and you need to go onto the following directory. So you need to go onto this PC, your local disk, C drive, Windows, the system 32 folder, and then you need to scroll down until you find the shell32.dll file. Once you've found it, you then need to double click on it and then you will see your system icons here. So if you want to change it to, for example, the exclamation mark, just click on that one, press OK, press apply and press OK. And yet again, you can see that the icon has now changed. If you have created a custom icon using a program or some software, or you want to choose something else, you would just simply go onto browse and find the location of the icon and then change it there. But that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe.